One girl bragged that she had written the word Frindle 45 times on her sheets today. She grinned and said, that's a new record. And this boy named Nick, Judy asked. Has he had to stay after school too? The kids giggled, and a tall boy with reddish brown hair and glasses said, Mrs. Granger has kept Nick after school so much that everyone thinks she wants to adopt him. The reporter smiled and said, Do you think I could find Nick and talk to him this afternoon? The boy looked at Judy for a second and then said, I don't think Nick would want to talk to you right now. He might say something stupid and get himself in trouble. Then he grinned at his friends. The kids laughed and poked and punched each other and headed off down the block. Judy drove back to her office and started writing. The next morning, a brown envelope arrived at the Gazette, Gazette offices addressed to Judy Morgan, and below her name was written, Frindle Story. When Judy opened it, there was a class picture, the fifth grade at Lincoln Elementary School. Mrs. Granger and the six other teachers were standing at the ends of the rows, and the kids were dressed neatly, hair all combed. But there was something odd about the picture. The reporter looked closely and saw that each kid was holding up a pen, and each little mouth was puckered in the same way. She was puzzled for a second, but then she said softly, of course, they're saying Frindle. Written on the back of the picture in neat cursive was third row, fifth from the left. Judy looked at the picture. There she saw the same grinning red-haired boy with glasses that she had talked to in the school parking lot yesterday. She chuckled and said, well, 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 pleased to meet you, Mr. Nicholas Allen.